Before the election, Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump are battling it out for votes. The campaign trail bought, brought Trump back to the tri-state. He returned to Wilmington for a rally with supporters and a hit on the cloud of controversy that hangs over Hillary Clinton. Local 12's Jeff Hirsch was in the crowd. He joins us live with more on Trump's message. Hi, Jeff. Well, good evening. Uh, Donald Trump's airplane just took off a few minutes ago after a speech that lasted nearly an hour. And you know, when Donald Trump gets off point, gets off message, that's when he can get in trouble. That is when he has gotten in trouble over the past year plus that he's been running. But when he stays on point and stays on the message, that's when he can score some serious points. And this race is obviously getting much, much tighter. So in his speech today, Trump sort of hammered at the themes that got him the nomination and has kept him going so far. Uh, Obamacare, repeal and replace Obamacare. Allegations of corruption against Hillary Clinton. Uh, trade, NAFTA. TPP. And of course, uh, one of his signature messages, uh, they're going to build the wall and Mexico's going to pay for it. We have a one-way highway going into some of these countries, especially Mexico. Everything goes in. I always say, they get the jobs, the plants, the money. We get the drugs, we get the unemployment. It's a one-way street. Not going to happen anymore, folks. Not going to happen anymore. There have to be consequences. When that happens, there are going to be consequences. We're going to fight. Oh, don't worry about it. We'll build the wall. It's going to be a great wall, too. About that new signature phrase. Now, there was certainly an amount of hyperbole, which you're going to hear in any political speech. He said uh, he will be able to eliminate criminal gangs in his first week in office. I don't think so. Now, he also said that Hillary Clinton has a zero chance of doing anything to get rid of ISIS, and Trump said that he himself has a hundred percent chance. Now, you know, if I can use an airplane analogy, because the plane just left a few minutes ago, a couple of weeks ago, Donald Trump would have been flying into some headwinds, you know, sort of, you know, clearly behind, but right now he's got a tailwind. It is very close nationally, and, and the polls show a slight edge for him in Ohio. Uh, the great legendary polling guru, uh, Nate Silver, uh, is saying now that the map is getting a lot messier for Hillary Clinton. Live in Wilmington, Jeff Hirsch, Local 12 News, back to you. All right, Jeff, thank you. And from Wilmington, Donald Trump heads to a rally this evening in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Hillary